Can we oh, just can go, you go over everything? This list? On Where are the list? cervical? Okay. Is it all of these guys? Yeah. And then so you show me first. Axillary. Okay. Yeah. Inguino. Okay, groin. Is this also inguino? No. Uh, I'm, I'm sticking in here. Submental is this little guy. Yep, underneath the chin. Mesenteric. These guys. So pretty much kind of in, considered like mesentery. Like right in here. Okay. Okay. And then is this the abdominal then? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. And then thoracic is this and Any in the guys? thoracic cavity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, thoracic trunk and then thoracic nodes. Yeah. Thoracic duct, right? A thoracic duct, duct. I mean. Mm -hmm. okay. Subtrochlear. These are these. Yeah. It's a me it's the medial superficial surface of the the elbow. Remember trochlear notch and all that. Do you remember yeah. that? That helps you go. Ooh, okay. So do we need to say right or left? Oh no. no. Okay. And then mediastinal is that these actually? The mediastinum is the area. Yeah, this is more. Let's see. It's more deep than the mediastinum, isn't it? Uh, let me think. Mediastinum. Is where it's got the heart, thymus area. This could be the soft face. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, these ones can be considered right here mediastinal because it's kind of like in that center region. Mediastinal. With the ones like out so here, I'll be doing more of these the thoracic, thoracic, yeah. And then, okay. So you notice when I go, hmm, what does that usually mean? No, You're not gonna. Uh, don't worry about no, it. I won't probably. Yeah, don't worry about it. I'm probably gonna do mediastinal because I'm like. Oh, I don't know. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. Wait, uh, right and left. Right and left what? <laughs> the only you right do. Right left, right and left somethings. Oh, uh, uh, well, lymphatic. This left. is the this is the right lymphatic duct yeah. right in here. Uh -huh. And here, I know, just so you wouldn't know, like, oh, I'm pointing to yellow because it's covering up that right lymphatic duct is, I would say, white instead of yellow. Or actually, it's still here. Well, the right lymphatic duct is still here. It comes here. So. What would we call this if you were asking for the other? That would probably be, I think it still might be, well, that might be, yeah, that might be neostinal. But it's like, I wish they wasn't there. I'm going to have to that away. Thoracic duct. Here's the sternocyli right there. The what? The cisterna chyli. Right oh yeah, here. we need to leave it with those guys. What else do we need? And then thoracic duct comes all the way. This is still in the thoracic duct right here. And then it empties in that silk so clay bag. Even when it's turning? Yep. Okay. So we don't call it the left. It's only the right. Some books will call it the left lymphatic duct. Okay. I like the thoracic duct, but technically it's also the left lymphatic duct. Cool. I just like thoracic duct. And actually you see that more often, so you should get used to it. But it technically is perfect. This part? That's juicy. That's juicy, yeah. Cisterna chili eye. Chili eye. In the, like if I sampled some fluid from that cisterna chili right after a meal of steak and baked potato, fully loaded baked potato, what do you think it's going to be rich in? Iron. Fat. <laughs> because remember the lacteals are going to be involved in fat absorption. It goes through the lymphatic system. It's going to come up here and eventually go into your bloodstream. So after a fatty meal, there's going to be a lot of fat in there. But that also